Hi, I'm Kim. I am currently the senior medical photographer. I'm just creating a little instructional video to show you how to work the photo room in Harrison. So I'm gonna be leaving and I'm hoping this video can help you learn how to do this. Um, it would be nice to meet you in person, but if I don't, I hope this is helpful, okay? So I'm doing this backwards a little bit, so hopefully it's kind of in focus. All right, we're gonna pretend we're coming into the room, all right? This is what the photo room looks like. So just step-by-step, step, the first thing you do in the morning, turn on the lights. Okay, the red one is the power. This orange one is the modeling light, so it will look bright. I know they don't use that in the city, but I like to use it here. And then the black one is called the slave, so that means it's connected to this other transmitter over here. This is a transmitter. Okay, we're gonna turn this on power on. Okay. And we're gonna turn these light, the red one on. All right. Step one, turn your camera on, switch it over here, turn this transmitter on. And you're gonna notice this says TXRX, okay, so that's transmit and receive, channel number five. This is RX only, so receive, channel number five. They have to be on the same channel, okay? Now, this is the Vectra computer. That's the Vectra. That's the footprints. This is the workstation ID. I'm going to go over here at Vectra, double click it. Um, and to be honest, you have to turn, you have to restart this computer every time you use it. I don't know why, but it's just what needs to be done. So just do it. Restart the computer first thing, then open up Vectra. And when it's working, the lights will be blue. Okay, you'll hear that sound. That means it's working. You can look up the patient. I tend to turn this off in between um, patients. We don't use mirror as often as we do in the city. And um, I found that sometimes there's a problem if it's kept on. So you can just um, press look up a patient, press a little X right there. Okay. And always lock the computer when you're leaving. Okay. You can go into mirror and look for a patient. So you're going to choose a test one one of these. You want to make sure that your camera is on before you test. Otherwise, it will not work. Press this little camera button up here. All right, you're going to enter the information. Hold on. All right. Press all three attributes. If it's working, it will say okay. All right. When I shoot a photograph, I look in the corner. I don't know that you could see this. Okay, see that little black thing? When you press this button to take a picture, you'll notice it goes from black to red. That means the flashes are functioning. There you go. Picture looks pretty good. You can delete it. We don't need to save that. We don't need to waste space. Clear it out. That's good. Close this. Okay. And then when I'm done in between patients, I turn this off to save the battery. Okay. All batteries get charged at the end of the day. So this is for the double A's. This one in the middle does not work. Just keep that paper there. That's fine. This is the charger for the camera battery right here. So you just flip flop them out in order to get the battery out. This little button, press that in. Press that orange button, pull that out. Okay, that's the orange button. I'm gonna flip flop these guys. Put in, 
push it all the way, close that cover. These transmitter lights, see that actually is pretty low battery. Um, just take them out, put them in here. new ones and I'm sure this is just obvious but I don't know who's gonna be doing this clinic so I'm trying to be more obvious than not okay um, for functionality of the camera AF autofocus M manual okay make sure that this is kept in place this will um, prevent the port from being ruined. When you're rolling the camera, I kind of keep this um, like this so that way the cord does not ever get rolled over. If this gets pulled, this gets pulled. It's a $500 fix. It really stinks and the camera's out of function for a couple weeks, okay? Um, that should be that for that. When you are done with your day, you're gonna turn this off, turn the vector off first, then power down this um, computer here. Also, I turn these guys off to save the batteries, okay? Turn that off there. Right here, this power. I'm gonna switch it to off, okay? That's gonna conserve the battery. And I flip them upside down here so that way the next person will know that it's turned off, okay? Um, when you're done with the day, you're gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this power off and then discharge the lights. So it's that green button. You're gonna press once or twice, discharge that. Gonna turn this off, press that once or twice. It's gonna clear that out. The blue bins go across the hall in the patient changing room. Just open this door right over there, the room on the right side. The clear stuff that has garbage, it's gonna go, I generally put it in the, uh, the patient bathroom. Just put a paper towel over it because it has underwear. Some people get weird with that kind of stuff. So I try to make sure that it's hidden and nobody sees what it is. Um, if you need to calibrate the Vectra, everything is here. This will have the calibration chart. This is a stand for anyone that is gonna be doing leg photos. This is separate, but these are tissue expander um, holders that a patient made, so I leave them in here. They're free for anyone that wants them. Okay, also on the stand here, I have people face forward, so this is number one, then over to the light, number two, to the wall, number three, to the other light, four, and to that wall, five. There's the blue markers that will show people where to stand for the Vectra patient area. This is actually a patient that was an artist. Her name is Kim Tamalonis. She's a wonderful person and a wonderful artist. Um, a lot of patients really respond to this stuff. It's a patient to patient information sheet. This is just a little quote from a patient. Um, these are from the woman who did the tissue expander. Um, uh, sorry, not the expander, the JP drain holders. That's that. This is another patient who worked at a pharmaceutical company and made these little beautiful um, charts uh, for patients so patients can take photos of that. Um, she also has these little gift boxes that patients can get. These are cards from wonderful Melanie Young. She is a patient here. She has a website and two books at least. She is really wonderful. So if you see a patient is having a hard time, just have them take a photo of this, give them their website, and um, 
they can reach out for some support or check her book out. Okay. I think that's it right now. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the room set up in a few minutes. Thanks.